This video is quite a short one, just looking at a few of the really widespread reasons why businesses might fail. So these different causes of business failure then that we're going to look at, we're going to sort into a few different categorizations. So the first of those is going to be internal causes of failure. So things that have come from within the business. And the first of those might be to do with the management of cash flow and the working capital of the business, which I would say actually is probably the number one cause of business failure, certainly in the short term. So the management of cash flow, cash coming in, cash going out and working capital, we mean the money that we've got for our day to day operations. So if we haven't managed that effectively, and you might actually have quite a successful business, a business that's growing quite rapidly. But if you, for example, over invested in your fixed assets and you've got too many buildings, too much machinery, too much equipment, and you then can't pay people that you owe money to in the short term, then that could cause quite significant problems. You might not be able to pay your staff. You might not be able to pay your suppliers and that can cause businesses to fail. It might also from the internal, from within the business, it might also be ineffective marketing. So that's a really, really broad one, but it can be so many different things from within the process of marketing. So it could be poor um, promotional strategies and advertising, could be uh, poor strategies in terms of distribution and how you're getting your products out to your customers, um, could be poor strategy with respect to pricing and if you uh, set your price too high and you're just not therefore attracting too many customers. So those are things to do with the decisions that are being made within the business that could cause that business to fail. But on the external side, we're thinking about things that are coming from outside. So a little bit more outside of the business's control. You could say, well, actually, maybe they should have forecast and planned for some of these things, but they've come from outside the business in terms of what's causing them to fail. It might be that there's a new competitor that's come into the market and that's therefore taken some of their business, taken some of their customers away. And it means that they are then not earning enough revenue in order to cover and, ex and exceed costs. It might be that there's a significant change in technology that they hadn't planned for and they haven't um, moved up to date with quickly enough. And actually thinking of an example, an actual real life example of some of these things, you might think about bringing those two together and think about the failure of Blockbuster that was quite a successful business doing DVD and video rentals for a long period of time. Um, you had a significant change in technology where people started streaming and using online services in order to watch uh, movies and TV shows. And then you had new competitors like Netflix, which then started to do that um, much better than or started to do that in a way that Blockbuster wasn't able to provide. And so then you had that business failing. And finally, we might have economic downturns. So we're talking here about um, downturns in the economy to do with the output that is produced in a country and therefore the employment that is generated in that country. And if we have a downturn such as the one we had in 2008, 2009 with the financial crisis, the country isn't producing as much output, there isn't as many jobs, there's more unemployment, people aren't earning as much income, and so then they don't go out and buy as many products and services. So lots and lots of businesses in the aftermath to that crisis um, failed because there just wasn't the demand, there wasn't the custom for their products anymore because people didn't have the income in order to pay for them. Now, as well as categorizing these causes of business failure as to whether they are coming from within the business or whether they're coming from outside the business, you could also categorize them as to whether they are financial or non-financial in nature. And now I would say that most causes of business failure are ultimately going to be end up being financial in nature. If a business fails, then at the end of it, something will have gone wrong financially in the end. But it might be that actually it's the non-financial factor that's causing that financial problem and it's causing that failure. So the root cause of the failure is actually a non-financial issue. And actually those sorts of things are 
um, going to be things that we've already spoken about in terms of the internal and external causes of failure as well. So marketing failures, things to do with poor advertising, poor promotion, um, poor price setting for uh, your products and setting prices too high. Those sorts of things could be non-financial causes which, which then feed into financial failures as well. Um, and ultimately, anything really which causes a business to fail to be able to compete, co compete effectively in the market within which it's operating. So it could be actually their staff are really poorly motivated and therefore they're not being very productive, which means they're not able to compete very effectively. And that would be a non-financial cause as well. But then um, in the end, you are probably going to end up with either some liquidity problems or some problems in terms of a business making a loss that is going to cause ultimately that failure to come. And when we talk about liquidity problems, we're talking about those problems that we mentioned with, with cash flow and working capital. So those are the problems that are going to cause really short term and immediate financial failure. Businesses can run at a loss for a relatively significant period of time without actually failing, but um, they can't clearly do that forever because businesses exist to make a profit. And if they make a loss year on year on year, then eventually something's going to have to give. So running at a loss could be a cause of failure over the longer term as well.